it's Brady. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are brand new here, hi, hello, welcome. We are a family of four. It is myself, my husband, and our seven and four-year-old girls. And apparently I have cilantro on my hand. There we go. Um, <laughs> and so on this channel, I love to share our grocery hauls, what we're making for dinner, you know, mom life stuff, that sort of thing. So if that's your sort of thing and you enjoy grocery hauls, Sam's Club hauls, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you stick around. And today's grocery haul, we're just going to be going over a Kroger and Target haul. Um, if you are not new here, then you know that last week I did not post a thing. Um, that was kind of a host of, of things going on, but I just had to take a step back for the week. So um, this week we are back on track. I did a Kroger click list order and a Target drive up order, which worked out really, really well, and so I think that's going to be great. Um, so, I'll pop up here for you our weekly meal plan that starts with tonight. And so, you can kind of see by our meal plan that we have like a big over-the-top kind of meal tomorrow. Um, we are going to be watching the new Sopranos movie, and so we're having Italian night. Um, obviously, we're not watching that with the kids, but... Um, and then it is also my mother-in-law's birthday, so I'm making her a cake. And um, so we've just got a lot. So you're going to see a lot of that kind of stuff. We also needed a couple of household items. And um, we were supposed to be going to Sam's Club, but that has been delayed uh, several more weeks just to a whole host of things that needed to be fixed and done before we, you know. So we just kind of moved money around and, and made it work. So for now, we're just going to stick with weekly grocery hauls. And so, like I said, all of this is from Kroger and Target, and um, I'm going to just share with you what we got and what we're going to use it for. And I'll try to remember prices and share that with you, too. Okay, so we did get a cantaloupe. That was $2.99. We did get a small watermelon. It was $3.49. I got one head of green leaf lettuce because we still have some lettuce in the fridge. Um, but this is going to be for lunch prep. For, um, we're going to be making like uh, copycat Chewy's taco salads for lunches. So I got a head of green leaf lettuce for that. I did get two bundles of cilantro. I think the green leaf was $1.79 and the cilantro was $0.89 cents each. Two fifty dollars for a pound of strawberries and these actually look pretty good. Sorry if you hear the kids playing in the background. Uh, the crinkle cut fries were $1.67. And then we did get one gallon of Milo's tea, two gallons of whole milk. The tea was $2.99. The milk was $3.09 a gallon. I did get three half gallons of the Simple Truth chocolate almond milk for my youngest. And uh, this will last us a little over a week, but I just wanted to kind of replenish what we had. These are $2 each, but then again, I did have a 60 cent off one e-coupon that Kroger sent me. So one of them was only $1.40. I'm making a lemonade cake for the birthday girl. And so I am using this old orchard lemonade. It calls for a frozen lemonade concentrate. And that was $1.49 from Target. I think this was $1.29 or $1.19 for the buttermilk. This is to make homemade ranch dressing with. And it was, like I said, this was from Kroger. And I think it was $1.19 for a pint of that. Two bags of the garden salad blend. That's for um, our Italian dinner tomorrow. And these were $1.29 each. Iceberg lettuce was $1.29 as well. No, I'm sorry. The salad blends were, they've gone up. They're $1.59 each. The English cucumbers are from Target as well. They were 99 cents each. Um, and so we use those. We'll use probably half of that for dinner tomorrow night. And then the other half I'll put on my salads. And then the girls will also snack on those for lunches or just snacking around the house. And then um, we did get two packages of the right brand, Applewood Smoked, one and a half pound uh, thick cut bacon. And it was $8.99 a package, which is outrageous. But given the fact that it's normally like $12 per package, that was a decent price and we were out of bacon. And then I did get one pound, uh, 1.05 pounds to be exact, of the Boar's Head Pepper Mill Smoked Turkey. And that was $12.06 for 1.05 pound. 
And then um, I did get some beer brats and some hot Italian sausages. They were on sale with a digital coupon for $2.97 each, which is nowhere near um, the sale price I'm used to stocking those up on. But with um, inflation prices and everything going on, that was a big deal because right now their normal price, instead of being $2.99, their normal price is $5.99. So that was still a good deal. Two 18 counts of eggs and I had two 40 cent off one coupon. So it they were like $2.19 per 18 count minus 40 cents off each one. Roughly $2.79 or no, $1.79 per 18 count. To get a container of bottled water, 32 count Kroger brand, bottled water for $3.49. We needed some more laundry detergent, and this is the one that I love from Sam's typically, and it is a lot cheaper there, but this was only $8.99 this week for the Eco's Lavender 100 load, so that's what I got. And my skin is being weird and sensitive these days, and so I just really need to get back to what does not bother my skin. And then um, we needed a new bottle brush, not for baby bottles, but we use this for sippy cups, water bottles, the whole nine yards. And this is my favorite one with the sponge top. It was $3.49. And then I think I did have like a 10% off uh, Target Circle rebate coupon thing. Um, this was a big ticket item, honestly. These have gone up as well. This box used to be $30.99. It's now $34.99. But it is a 60 count of the 4T, 5T pull-ups new leaf from Target. And then what else? I did get eight Honeycrisp apples. Honestly, I don't think they paid attention at all when they grabbed them. But it meant I didn't have to go in the store. So I guess we'll eat around the bad spots. But anyways, Honeycrisp apples are our favorite. And they were $1.77 a pound this week. So I got eight of those. We got one red onion for a recipe tomorrow, and it was probably, I think it was 99 cents a pound, so I think that came out to like 47 cents. Um, the Simple Truth Organic Herbs were on sale for $1.79 each. I need basil for tomorrow. They substituted the Thai basil. I'm hoping that's going to be all right. And then I needed some rosemary as well. Baby carrots were a dollar, I think they were just a dollar for one pound of baby carrots, $1.67 for the grape tomatoes, $1 for the 12 ounce container of tomato paste, and each of these crushed tomatoes, these are the large 28 ounce cans, each of these were a dollar each, so I picked up three of those, plus the tomato paste, plus some other things, and we're going to make our own homemade marinara, and then these were $4.49. They were not on sale, but they're a great thing for easy breakfast, so we did pick them up. It's the Jimmy Dean Fully Cooked Turkey Sausage Patties, as well as we also got one pouch or one pack of the four count pouches of strawberry danimal yogurt pouches for the girls. These are $3.69. And then I did get one package of saltine crackers from Kroger. They were $1.25. The Kroger brand chips, the party size or family size, whatever they call them. We've got one barbecue and one wavy plain potato chip, $1.67 each. Plus I had a 60 cent off two e-coupon for Kroger chips. So they ended up being like a $1.37 each. And then I did get, um, let me start back here. We're getting all over the place. Um, we've got a fun fall recipe for next week's fall food Friday video. So I needed the mini vanilla wafers and they were, how much were those? Now I'm trying to think. I think they were $1.59. $1.69 for the Olive Garden croutons. We were out of croutons and I wanted some for salad this weekend and also for uh, just salads with dinner in general. $1.69 I believe for a two pound package of the powdered sugar. That is to make the frosting for the lemonade cake. And then I did pick up three packages of the Good & Gather Organic Bronze Cuts, the flat ones that are not wavy, oven ready lasagna noodles. And I got three packages at $1.59 per package. And then I did pick up two of these Totino's party pizzas. They were $1.25 each. I had ordered the Kroger brand flour tortillas 
and they gave us the Mission brand instead, so those ended up being like $1.89. Two loaves of Kroger white bread, $1.25 each. We're doing a lot of sandwiches for lunches this week for the kids, as well as, you know, toast in the morning, etc. And I'm sure we'll still have some left at the end of the week. Um, but anyways, I got two of those. They were $1.25 each, plus I had a 50 cent off two e-coupon, so it made them a dollar a loaf. 89 cents for one block of plain cream cheese froth or cream cheese for the frosting. 3.33 for Hershey Kisses. These are for um, the Halloween type Fall Food Friday recipe thing we're doing. 2.99 for the Kraft Deluxe Mac and Cheese. I also ordered a different one, just the original, and they gave us the four cheese, so that it will work just fine. $2.29 per pint. They were out of the court, so I just got two pints from Kroger. No, Target. $2.29 each. Parmesan cheese. This one is the Simple Truth Organic. Five ounces. It was $3.49 plus... No, it was $3.49 after a 50 cent off coupon. And never you mind, the girls were playing Kinetic Sand. So there's a little bit of sand on the table. Okay. $1.99 for the Kroger bagels. And then I did have a 50 cent off one e-coupon. So made it $1.49 for those. $2.99 for cinnamon swirl bread. That will last us probably well over a week as well. But I wanted that with my breakfast. And then these rice chips, the farmhouse cheddar. Um, I got these because if you got any five... You got $5 off any five PepsiCo brand products, and this was included. And um, since I was already buying Pepsis at four for 11 of the six packs, I did pick this up for $1.49. So then this ended up being 49 cents, and each of those ended up being $1.75 each. Um, and that was only with good for, it was an e-coupon, only good for pickup and delivery orders. $2.99 for some Pepperidge Farm sourdough bread from Target, then also had a 10% off uh, coupon with Target Circle. And then this one was, I think it was $1.69 for the Betty Crocker Super Moist Lemon Cake Mix. That's what that lemonade cake calls for. Two Kool-Aid Jammers, two nineteen dollars each for the 10 count grape at Kroger. We needed some balsamic vinegar for tomorrow, and this was $2.99. The Coke Cherry was a free digital coupon from Kroger, as was the Kraft Zesty Italian Dressing. And then I needed some panko breadcrumbs for tomorrow's dinner uh, because what we have left is not going to be quite enough. So I think this was $1.79 or $1.89 for this 8-ounce package from Kroger. And then my mother-in-law prefers Diet Pepsi, so we did get one of those for her, and it was $1.25, I think, for that. And I needed to replace some vegetable oil, so it was $2.49. So, I think that is everything. And again, uh, you saw the meal plan, so you kind of know what's going on. But we're doing a lot of cooking this weekend. We're going to have a lot of leftovers, and then we'll send leftovers home with her. But, yeah. Lots of fun stuff. There's still frozen veggies. We've still got some potatoes and onions. We've still got some bell peppers in the fridge. And then we've still got ground beef and a few other things like a roast um, in the freezer. Some cube steaks. And then the pantry has lots of canned veggies and stuff in it too. So uh, I think that's everything that I've got for y'all today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, again, if you're new, please subscribe if this is your kind of video and leave me a comment down below and let me know, you know, say hello if you're new, if you've never introduced yourself before. If you have introduced yourself before, or even if you haven't, go ahead, let me know where are you shopping this week? What deals have you found? What's on your meal plan? And just how are y'all doing? I'm so glad to be back. Uh, thank you so much for your patience as I took a little uh, time off. And until next time, I will talk to y'all in the comments down below. Bye.